before we get into the actual video itself, all I'm going to say is, is that this, today's episode is going to be uh, probably a little bit shorter. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible because there really wasn't too much to this episode besides the, the collaboration of Dr. Slump and Dragon Ball Super, really. Um, so, basically, all that really happened in this episode was, um, in the beginning, we start off with... Uh, the Dragon Ball Super's intro, but then after that, we we get the Dr. Slump intro, uh, where we see Orale and everybody else that, that it lives in Penguin Village. Now, I don't know too much about Dr. Slump or Orale. The only the only knowledge I know of Orale is uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Slump was created by Akira Toriyama, and it's basically just the story of this uh, robot who is a girl uh, who was created by by Dr. Sen uh, Senpai, or or however you pronounce his name. I'm going to butcher a lot of names in this, in this video. I apologize for that for, for anybody who watches Dr. Slump because I don't know too much information about it other than what I know now, which I just explained to you at the current, at this moment. So I don't I don't know what else to tell you other than the fact that um, this, video, uh, this uh, episode of Dragon Ball Super was obviously just there for filler until we get to the next arc and uh and the next the next episode i'll explain that later on at the end of it which might take up a little bit of time because i kind of want to i kind of want to have a little bit of fun with it <laughs> and you'll see why when i get to that point but basically we start off with uh, the episode with uh dr senpai a uh, senpai or whatever how you pronounce it stupid name um uh he's going off to west city and he basically created an invention where whatever your greatest desire is basically just comes out of thin air and that's basically all it does and he won an award for it but uh after he had after he was about to get his medal for winning the award the main antagonist of dr slump shows up as a ghost and what i found really really funny about the episode was the fact that uh, the doctor for Dr. Slump, or I'm just going to refer to him as Dr. Slump because he refers to that if you, if you ba badmouth him. So I'm going to refer to him as Dr. Slump because... Just, just because. And you're going to have to deal with that. So, Dr. Slump, he uh, is like, like, you died in like the, the end of the comic or whatever. He pulls up a comic of literally uh, Dr. Slump, uh, the actual uh, manga itself. And I thought that was really, really funny. And, um... Arale and Vegeta start the fight, and the whole time v Vegeta's just talking about how basically this is a gag comic character, and the laws of physics literally mean nothing, even though this is anime and nothing makes sense in the first place. Which I thought was also hilarious on its own. On its own, and Arale then sends Vegeta basically halfway across the planet, and it was pretty funny. It was really, really funny to see Vegeta get his ass kicked. Even for a Vegeta fans, I would imagine. It's kind of comical, but at the same time, you might be a little bit upset, but what can you do? So, of course, um, Arale and Goku meet again after uh, not seeing each other, not after seeing each other since Goku was uh, around like around like uh, like 12, 13 years old, since he was a kid, basically, when he was a lot younger. We first originally saw him in, Dra in, in uh, the original Dragon Ball, and that was the first time we ever see we saw Arale, which was in, in the original Dragon Ball, for those of you actually watched it but um they start fighting and then they're about to create a, a key a key blast or explosion that could basically blow up the planet which is uh which is interesting and the entire time Bulma's just trying to figure out how to summon Beerus to earth so that way he can stop Morale before uh, you know the whole planet gets destroyed and so what Bulma does is that they had cameras to broadcast on live television so, Bulma takes the camera that's broadcasting to everybody in the world, and they were saying, name off, I'm sorry if you hear noise with the, in the background, I guess it's starting to rain a little bit, so I apologize for that, but, um, but see, Bulma was basically saying that everybody in the world should create or think about the most delicious food that they can come up with in their mind. And basically, at the end of it, yeah, because with the machine, that Dr. Slump had created. Uh, they, uh, they, it created this, this this little gray blob that literally just 
it didn't look like anything. It looked like it wasn't even delicious. And so beer shows up immediately, super fast with Whis, of course. And um, uh, the, an the antagonist for uh, for the manga, Doctor Slump, is like, "Yo, I'm talking to you. You better listen to me, or else I'll reject." And then Beerus uh, just destroys him, and then Whis is like, "Ghost or not, you're gonna you're gonna get destroyed by Beerus." He's God, he's literally the god of destruction for a reason. And, um, yeah, basically the antagonist uh, was destroyed. Orale was stopped, and Beerus got to eat the most delicious food in the entire universe, basically. But then after that, he has stomach problems because of all the chemicals and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. And then after that, Orale and, and the doctor, they leave, they go back to Penguin Village. And then that was basically the end of the episode. And the entire time, I was just confused, but I was laughing the whole time because it was kind of funny at the at the same time. And uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, this is one of the better episodes of filler that there is. And I really like this filler just because it crosses over Toriyama's work with uh, the manga of Doctor Slump and the manga of uh, of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super and stuff like that, and then they put that into the anime because um, uh, Toei and the, and the official <laughs> and the official animators, you know, they all did the work. They did it. They put in the anime. They released it out. I will say that the animation could have been a little bit better for certain points in the episode. Uh, I might talk about it in a different video, but I don't really want to because I'm not I'm not sophisticated enough in animation to tell you what looks good and what looks terrible, you know. But I feel like there was a little bit of error in the animation in this episode that I felt like could have been a little bit better, but that's not really that. But anyways, the next episode, uh, uh, the, the next episode's gonna feature off back with uh, with Champa. Because at the end of the episode, of course, they tell you what's gonna happen. Uh, what, what's gonna happen in the next in the next the next episode? Which is gonna be episode 70. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering quite a bit because it's still it's still quite early in the morning. I didn't get a chance to record at night uh, last night, but it's whatever. So next episode, we're gonna go we're gonna go back to the universe 16 versus the 17. But it's not what I would have expected. Uh, instead of a tournament where they basically fight each other, it's baseball. Yeah, it's a match of baseball versus Champa's team and Beerus' team. And the reason I'm actually quite excited for this episode is because Yamcha's finally going to be fucking useful. He's finally going to be fucking useful in an episode of Dragon Ball Super because he's there, but he doesn't do anything. He's literally just there watching everybody get the sh get the shit beat out of them, you know? He's just not doing anything. But for those uh, those of you who are diehard Dragon Ball fans, you know that in the beginning of Z, when we first see Gamcha in Dragon Ball Z, uh, he was a baseball player. And I think he still is a baseball player. He plays baseball. He knows the sport better than anybody, you know? Uh, and he knows it better than... Uh, Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, of course, uh, Whis, and, and all of them. He, like he knows the sport better than better than anybody. So this should be a fairly interesting episode, mainly because of the fact that Yamcha's is going to be there, and he's actually going to have some sort of use. And he's going to explain the sport. They're going to they're going to learn. They're going to try out, and they're, and who knows what's just going to happen. If you if you guys um, want to see that, then um, of course there's going to be a link in the description to Crunchyroll, so that way you can get uh, the next episode of Dragon Ball Super, uh, basically around the time that Japan does, which is every week around Friday or Saturday, so be sure to bookmark uh, Crunchyroll and create an account if you don't want to see any ads, because I always leave the link in the description to Crunchyroll, so that way you guys can get the official website where we can... Uh, go watch Dragon Ball Super and, and, and just support the series because that's what we all want to do in the end. We want to support Dragon Ball because we're all Dragon Ball fans and we want Toriyama to continue his work uh, with the manga and, the, and, uh, and creating the story so that we can put that into the anime so we can have something to watch. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. Uh, surprisingly, we had this for, we, we were talking, I don't know, I've been talking for 10 minutes. Uh, around 10 minutes now, which is uh, surprising. I didn't expect 
talk so much for about like, the, the half an hour or uh, half an hour episode of basically what is kind of nothing uh, at the end of the day. It's just a filler episode, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it off. I've been rambling on for lo uh, for too long now. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that if you guys enjoyed what there was in this video for this week, be sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, to the channel so you can uh, see new videos every single week or every other day if I'm up to making a video for any other day. And also, um, if uh, you guys are up to it, you can also uh, push the uh, push the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get um, a notification every single time I upload. Because I would highly appreciate that because YouTube's algorithm is fucking terrible. And I might talk about that with uh, with my friend Pure Ghost, who might be down to do that. But um, I don't know at the moment. We'll have to see. Uh, I'll have to see if he's down to do that. But. Anyways, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, push uh, push the bell for new notifications when I upload, and uh, just uh, leave a comment saying what you thought about the episode, and also let me know if you watched Dr. Slump, because, uh, I don't know, I feel like after this episode I would be interested to watch it, even though I'm watching Naruto right now, which is taking up most of my time to watch it, because there's so many episodes. But yeah, uh, leave a like, subscribe, I love you guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.